morning when was G 17 October 2020 what prophet prophet prophesy Indonesia friends I pray Indonesia friends in Thursday I see an attack I pray in Jesus name amen three people have been killed and seven wounded in a terror attack in the southern French city of Nice among those killed, a woman was beheaded by the attacker. The stabbing incident took place at a church in Nice. French President Emmanuel Macron, who visited Nice to take stock of the situation, says that France has been attacked by terrorists once again. He also says that France will tighten security at schools and at churches. Additional troops will be mobilized. Once again, our country has been hit by an Islamist terrorist attack. This morning, once again, three of our fellow compatriots have been killed in Nice in the Notre Dame Basilica. And it is quite clearly France which has been attacked. At the same time, we have seen an attack at the French consular section in Saudi Arabia in Jeddah. At the same time as the arrests were made in France. I would like to express here, first and foremost, the nation's support for the Catholic population in France and elsewhere. After the killing of Father Jacques Hamel in summer 2016, once again it is the Catholics that have been targeted and a menaced country ahead of All Saints Day. The entire nation stands by their side and will continue to stand at your side so that religion can be practiced freely in our country. On the other hand, the suspect behind the attack has been arrested. He was shot by the police and has been admitted to a nearby hospital. The victims, including the church caretaker, have been killed in a horrible way. According to the mayor, the attacker shouted Allahu Akbar multiple times before attacking the civilians, killing three people, injuring others. Now, according to reports, the suspect arrived in France only a few days back. In fact, uh, in late September, he reached the Italian island of Lampedusa. He was ordered to quit Italy and he arrived in France in early October only, so just a few days before he carried out this deadly attack. The assault prompted lawmakers in Parliament to hold a minute's silence. France has raised the security threat level to the highest. La réponse du gouvernement sera ferme, implacable et immédiate. J'ai d'ores et déjà j'ai d'ores et déjà décidé de porter le plan Vigipirate au niveau urgence attentat sur l'ensemble du territoire national. Je veux leur dire ici, mesdames et messieurs, que la nation partage leur douleur et leur immense émotion. Cette attaque, aussi lâche que barbare, endeuille le pays tout entier. The visuals on your screen have been captured by an eyewitness. The sound of gunfire can be heard as police respond at the scene of the deadly church attack. No. But it wasn't just this attack that happened yesterday. Two more attacks on French people have been reported by state media. A guard at the Jeddah consulate has been injured in an attack by a Saudi citizen. In another incident, a man tried to stab police officers in French Avignon, but he was shot dead. The French police have also arrested an Afghan national who was armed with a knife in Lyon as per sources. The new attack brings back memories of the 2016 terrorist attack during the Bastille Day fireworks in Nice when a man rammed his truck into a crowded area, killing 86 people. It was part of a wave of lone wolf attacks which has killed more than 250 people since 2015. This also comes while France is still reeling from the beheading earlier in this month of French school teacher Samuel Petey by a man of Chechen origin. The attacker said he wanted to punish Petey for showing pupils cartoons of the Prophet Muhammad in a civics lesson. It was not immediately clear if Thursday's attack was connected to the republication of Prophet's cartoons or even the attack on the school teacher Samuel Petey 
France uh, awarded the country's highest honor to the fallen teacher who had uh, fallen prey to this extremist attack.